here after another Terrier win over the main Black Bears at Aganis Arena. A successful weekend for BU all around, except uh, sophomore Corey Trevino goes down with a high ankle injury. Not sure when he'll be back, but he'll be out for an extended period of time. Really the only black mark on a great weekend for BU. It was a great weekend, Tyler, and you know it's going to be tough with Trevino gone. That first line really played so well all weekend. Corey Trevino centering Zach Cohen and Alex Chiasone. They shut down Maine's uh, top line of Gustav Nyquist and Tanner House and Brian Flynn. And that led to this weekend sweep, which is absolutely huge. The Terriers back above 500, which Car uh, Parker and Eric Grab and Zach Cohen talked about after the game. That's phenomenal. That's phenomenal news, and it's really good for them. You can feel, you know, it's, it's a feel-good feeling. It, it, it's great to be over 500. It's something this team struggled to do all season long. And now you talk about the weekend sweep. The Terriers have head-to-head -head criteria over another team taking the season series for Maine. That's five teams now: Maine, both UMass's BC and Merrimack, and that's going to be very valuable down the stretch, especially with this logjam in the standings. I think it was just five points separating the second through eighth team in the conference entering tonight. Uh, Northeast are doing us a favor in beating UMass. BU is now tied with UMass for fourth, so you know it's good to have those head-to-heads. With that tiebreaker, if the playoffs started today, the, you would have a home playoff game hosting UMass at Aganis Arena. So we'll keep you posted.